it has happened. The item printer in the Indigo Disc Club Room is broken. There is an exploit now out there where you can get any item it can print when you choose to, when you want to. You can even trigger the Pokeball Auto. So we're gonna hop in. But first, huge shout out to the uh, two people in Japan who seem to have originally figured this out. Um, their Twitter handles are Stella underscore SSA and Ishipoya. Sorry if I'm saying any of those wrong. But also, extra big shout out to Anubis and Kafonix, uh, or Kafodix, uh on Twitter who are who I found out about this through. And uh, this is crazy. We're gonna I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do this, but you can get like a ton of the great balls, not great balls, but like beast ball, sports ball, safari ball, all at once. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's hop in. We're in the club room now. We're right at the item printer. Goal one is going to be to just go ahead and initiate talking with this uh, professor lady and get to this screen. Now the way that this exploit works is it works on your switch's internal clock. So we're not gonna go beyond this screen until we adjust our clock. First we have to trigger a Pokeball Lotto, which is going to be just a single item. It's gonna be super easy. And then we just back out and we're gonna do it again, but specifically for a bunch of balls that we would really like, specialty balls like beast balls and such. So we're gonna back out and head on down to our system settings all the way down to date and time. This is where the manipulation happens. It does not matter what time zone you're in. So for this one, I'm gonna go to forward one day actually, to uh, April 11th, and this day and time will technically always work. We're gonna go to 406. Let's keep it going. AM. So, and we're also gonna have to hit this at 13 seconds. So basically, as soon as I hit okay, that starts our timer. But every switch has a little bit of a different uh, internal time it takes to process to get from hitting uh, the button to that professor lady to the screen loading. So I have an OLED, it takes about a second, but um, other switches might take two or three. I've got my stopwatch here on my iPhone and we are going to hit okay at the same time we start this thing. So let's go. All right, we're gonna get back into Pokemon Violet. And we got five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and right before twelve, I'm going to hit it. If that worked, all is money. We're going to change print jobs down to one because we only need that one. So now, assuming we did this correct, we're going to just get one item because, once again, the only purpose of this is to trigger a, a ball bonus. You can eventually, and I will show you later, how to do this and still find um, a specific item at this point if you wanted. But I know that we did this correctly because we got two silver powders, which is the correct item to also trigger a ball bonus at this point. So now we're gonna get a bloop and another bloop and a rainbow bloop. There we go. We've got a Pokeball uh, Lotto. So once again, I'll show you later how you could do this with a very specific item if you wanted like an ability patch while doing this, but uh, you can also just get the two silver powders or whatever the closest is. So we're backing out. We're not doing the Pokeball Lotto yet, and we're gonna get back to that same part with the professor. We're gonna be right here, and now we're headed back out to our system settings again. So this is gonna be the part where you're gonna put in whatever time and date is going to get you the Pokeballs you want. For this initial example, I'm gonna use Anubis's very original um, post, which got you 10 rare balls. That would be May 20th. We're going way back in time to 2016, sun and moon era, basically. And we're going real early in the morning here, 2.11 a.m. And once again, it's gonna be 13 seconds. Sometimes it's eight seconds, sometimes it's nine. When we're in the um, application later, you can actually set how little or how many seconds you're okay with. But basically, reset our stopwatch, and now we're going to start it again, and go. Let's get back into the game. And we are at five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and right before 12, I will hit it. And now we want to change our print jobs back to 10. Obviously very important. So we're gonna go max on 10 and uh, fingers crossed. Here we go. Let's turn that handle. Already a good sign. We're getting a lot of glow. 
You're getting a lot of go. So we'll probably be seeing a dream ball, a sports ball. Look at that. That's just a, that's a beautiful thing, a thing of beauty right there. All right. So dream ball, sports ball, dream ball, friend ball, yep, beast ball, safari ball, moon ball, level ball. Like, that's incredible. This, this works, clearly, this works. So, like I said, this is a very specific time. If you redid this time, you'd be getting these same balls every single time because that is what is set to this time if you're triggering it at this time. So, obviously we wanna be able to, let's say I want master balls or something else or ability patch. We can find all of that and we're gonna hop into that right now. Now that you know the basics, this is where the real magic happens. This is where you're going to be able to pick any item it can print or ball that it can print. And basically it will give you a date and time for that. So let's go through the this item uh, item printer de gotcha application. Uh, Kafotics, I believe they are the creator of this and props to them or whoever created it. I believe it was Kafotics. Um, link down below in the description if you want to Get this for yourself, obviously discretion downloading any link, please be careful. Um, but this is a amazing application that was created for exactly this. We have four tabs here. We have the bonus tab, the regular tab, the ball tab, and the adjacent tab. So with the bonus tab, you have the current time or specific seed basically. I just recommend using current time. And you can pick ball bonus or item bonus. So a ball bonus is gonna trigger the Pokeball Lotto and the item bonus is gonna trigger the uh, whatever that extra item Lotto is. If you want, a, remember how we got the silver powder? If you wanted a specific item like an ability patch, you can select that, absolutely. Um, or you can just keep it as anything. You can also here adjust the minimum number of seconds that you need to get back in the game and the max seconds. Um, like if I up this to 13, that would probably give us the same one we just got. Um, so, if we just go ahead and hit search here, it's gonna tell us that we will get a Pokeball bonus at this time, uh, so uh, April 19th of this year at 8.39 a.m. and eight seconds. Now, real quick, the time is always displayed in um, military time. So, basically, if this was uh, gonna be 8 p.m., it would say 20.39 because 20 is or 24 hour time, I think we call it military time in the US, I don't know if the rest of the world does. But this would be 20.39 if it was 8 p.m., but it is 8 a.m., so it is 08.39 and eight seconds. This is the seed number. Um, I'll show you what you can do with that later, but it's also telling us that our one item is gonna get us nine flying terror shards, which is actually pretty crazy. So the next tab would be the regular tab. You only have one option here. And this is where, let's say you wanted to get ability patches because you can sell them. Um, for better luck, we're gonna up that to 15 seconds. And let's see here, we get one, two, three, four, five. You get five ability patches if you went at April 11th at 2.51 a.m. in 10 seconds. Or like, let's say you really need to level up some Pokemon, so you want some XL candy. Let's see, you get five, 10, 14, 14 XL candies at April 13th at 5.39 p.m. Uh, so you see that 17.39, that's 5.39 p.m. and 12 seconds. So if you wanted that for any of the items, that's how you get them. For the balls, you do have two options here, most single or most special. So most special is gonna have no drop down. It is just going to go ahead and get you basically as many specialty balls, kind of like what we just did. So the most current in time would be the 14th of April at uh, 4.50 a.m. and 11 seconds. That would still get us five net balls, so it's only nine specialty balls and then five regular balls, but that's still pretty great. Um, if you wanted most single, this is where you could say, um, I want beast balls. So this would get you one, two, uh, three beast balls, but you still get some great balls. Uh, 10 premier balls. Premier balls are great. Go catch your shinies in them, you know. That, that's what I like to catch shinies in. You get a level ball as well, which is, you know, another great ball. So, you know, or you can do, uh, let's say, master balls. Search again. Oh, you get a lot of premier balls here. This is actually a great deal because you're getting 15 premier balls. No, 20 premier balls. And one, two, three master balls. So, you know, that's not bad. Now, remember how I said you can take the seed? We're gonna copy that 
and paste it over here in adjacent. And you can see that's that exact one. So right here, you can just see that that's what it is. And if we go one second forward, we'd be getting all of these. If we went one second back, we'd be getting all of these. And you can just keep on scrolling. If you want to try and sort out that, or if you want to type in a random seed, like you can keep on going until your heart's desire. I saw someone online uh, did all great balls, which is just a, a fantastic way to meme about this. Um, but so I'm gonna, you know, show you now how all this works. We'll go back to most um, most special, the one where we get the five net balls, and uh, I guess we'll trigger it via both of these. So we should be getting the nine flying Terra shards and then we will be getting all of these balls. So let's hop back into the game and I'll show you that it it just works. It just works. Back in the club room, now we just gotta take those dates and times from the item printer to gotcha and uh, utilize them. So we are going to go ahead and talk to the professor lady and first do our uh, trigger for the Pokeball Lotto. So we're gonna come down here to the time and the item printer to gotcha says that we are going to do this at the 19th of April of this year at 8.39 a.m. So in eight seconds. So let's get our stopwatch back out and I'm gonna have to hit this at the end of six seconds right before seven seconds essentially. So here we go and boom. So right, three. Four, five, six, and seven. All right, I'm gonna move this down to one print job and we are going to go. Now the nice thing about this part, the getting the printer, uh, the Pokeball Lotto, is if you go back and look at the item printer to gotcha, we did check, uh, or it was already checked, a successful plus or minus two. It only works for triggering these. But basically, you can be one or two seconds off, but we were spot on. That's going to be our nine flying Terra shards. There it is. And now we're going to do the boop, boop, boops, right? And a boop. And another boop. And another boop. And a rainbow. All right. So there we go. Now we're going to back out. And we're going to talk to the nice professor lady again. And we're going to have a nice conversation with her while we back out to our system time again. This time we're going to go backwards five days to the 14th and our time is 4.50, uh, sorry, 4.50 as a dyslexic guy. You know, this this is a quite the challenge. We're going to get our stopwatch back to zero and we're going 11 seconds. So I want to hit this right at the end of nine seconds for my switch. So here we go. And we're back in the game. We're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, back to ten items. And if we did this right, we're gonna get a nice uh, silvery sparkle, not the gold sparkle. Praise to Arceus. We're gonna turn the handle. Silver sparkle. Silver sparkle. There we go. Kind of rainbow sparkle, actually. It's more of a rainbow sparkle. Let's go. Rainbow Sparkle for the rainbow, and just like we were expecting, we got that one that's not quite as glittery. That's gonna be those five net balls that we uh, saw when we were in the Out of Printer to Gotcha. But the rest of those, let's see, in order. Sports Ball, Safari Ball, Level Ball, Fast Ball. Let's see if that's right. Sports Ball, Safari Ball, Level Ball, Fast Ball. We got those five net balls down there. Heavy Ball, love it. Another Sports Ball, Lure Ball, a oh, Moon Ball. All, it's just, it's awesome. It's just legitimately awesome. So. I mean, look at that, we did it. Item printer to gotcha, just created the, the things we wanted. So you, like I said, if you want Master Balls, just tell it to go seek out Master Balls. If you want Beast Balls, do it for that. If you want Ability Patches or EXP Candy, or let's say you want to evolve your uh, uh, Authentic Sinistee, go get, go get the item from there. It's just that easy. If it can print it, you can get it. So the item printer to gotcha, if you if you can get that, I highly recommend it. Kafotix, you're a legend. Anubis, uh, I mean, she's obviously a legend. How many how many shiny hunting things has she 
you know, finally been the one to prove like, ah, we, none of us knew what was going on. So a serious shout out to both of them um, and to the two Japanese people who uh, figured this out in the first place. But um, seriously, happy uh, happy item hunting or whatever we want to call this farming. I, let's go, I am item farming. And uh, I hope this video helped you a lot. Um, if you want to and enjoyed this, go ahead and watch one of these other videos. And uh, you know, if you feel like it, sub or thumbs up or comment, but whatever. But watch one of these two videos. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.